Marion Barter went missing from the Gold Coast area, Queensland, Australia, in 1997. Marion Barter was 52 years old at the time of her disappearance and had previously worked as a teacher on the Gold Coast. She had been awarded the Teacher of Excellence Award and also awarded second place nationally in 1996. Marion had studied at the now defunct Armidale Teachers College in New South Wales and would be known by Armidale residents by her maiden name, Marion Wilson. In 1997, Marion resigned from her teaching position on the Gold Coast, sold her house and left Australia in June 1997 for a year-long holiday to England. The last reported contact Marion had with family and friends was when she phoned her daughter Sally on the 1st of August 1997. Marion's family started to worry when in October 1997 she had failed to contact her son on his birthday and her family were unable to get in touch with her. Shortly after this, Marion's family checked her bank accounts and discovered that there was no money left in her accounts and withdrawals had been made from her accounts over several weeks in the Byron Bay area of New South Wales. These withdrawals totaled approximately $80,000 over a period of three weeks. Marion had also missed her daughter's wedding. Other suspicious activity was revealed when it was discovered that Marion Barter's Medicare card had been used in Grafton in New South Wales in approximately August or September 1997, but then never used again. In February 2011, police notified Marion's family that she had in fact changed her name and obtained a passport under the name of Florabella Natalia Marion Remikel. Other details were also revealed, including that she was in fact residing in Luxembourg, married and had obtained a visa to travel to Australia for three days. That passport has never left the country. It was also confirmed by customs that Marion had in fact returned to Australia on the 2nd of August 1997, coincidentally the day after her last contact with her family on the 1st of August. Marion's family said that she had given no indication or intention to cease all contact with family and friends. Several clues have since linked Marion Barter to several New South Wales locations, including Grafton, Moree and Armidale. In 2002, Crime Stoppers received an anonymous phone call claiming that Marion had been murdered and buried in the vicinity of the University of New England yet investigations failed to locate any physical evidence to support that claim. The mysterious case of Marion Barter's disappearance remains unsolved to this day more than 20 years later.